Lily's Bretonia Mod Compilation All-in-One Mod Spotlight. We're going to be showcasing every single unit in this mod, starting from the Tier 1 units all the way up to the Tier 3 units. We're going to be looking at the stats, their visual look, and of course, we're going to show off some combat for these guys. If you're not really a huge cavalry player, this mod is perfect because it really rounds out the Bretonia faction for infantry. We're starting out with the only hero unit in this mod, the Sergeant at Arms. And I will say, he fits in really well. I like his visual look. I like that as a hero unit, you know, like he doesn't really, he blends in very well with the units in this mod and he makes sense. And overall, I'm just a big fan of him. One can never have just enough peasants. That's just a proven fact. We have the peasant mob with maces here, and it really makes sense for this unit because maces are just a blunt weapon, and that would be something that peasants could probably wield very easily. So this really fits in, in my opinion, and I'm a big fan of this unit. I have really mixed feelings about this unit. Um, it's the endlessly lost Regiment of Renown Peasant Mob Unit uh, Spear Infantry. But my issue is their leadership's really high. And for a peasant unit, it just kind of doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if I would run this unit in my games. I don't think I would. I find myself liking axe units more and more lately. Uh, the men at arms with axes, axe infantry, I really like this unit. I like the design of their axe and their weapon in their hand. I think they look good. And this just really makes sense in my opinion. I would definitely love to see these in my army composition. And just overall huge fan of this. Now we have men at arms, pole arms, and shields, which I'm a big fan of this. I mean, Bretonia really just needs uh, units that just stay in the fight longer. And uh, also this mod has a lot more archer based units. So it, this really, this fits in well. And I think this would really help you with the front line. Now we have uh, Royal Men at Arms. This is all in Tier 1, by the way. Uh, sword Infantry with Shield. I like the look of these guys. You know, again, more shielded units. Something that's going to have a little bit more melee defense, last a longer in combat. For a Tier 1 unit, to me, this isn't bad and really helps out Bertoni a lot for its roster. And again, staying with the royal status here, we have the royal spearmen at arms. Um, it is kind of weird though, a tier one unit with the name royal in it. Kind of sounds off, but maybe that's just a designation. And I will say also, I'm not a big fan of the two prong spears. Um, I'm just, just really not a huge fan of those. But overall, the unit looks good and the stats are still good. I'm going to be honest, guys, I'm going to mess up pronouncing a lot of these Regiment of Renown units or units that are named after certain uh, sub-factions. Uh, Sorbs of Quran, Royal Men at Arms. I like the look of these guys. I like their more offense-focused. Uh, their leadership's pretty good, 60. So, yeah, this is a really good unit. I really like that this mod fleshes out the range units for Bretonia and adds more higher tier ones and, and just more variety. It just overall really rounds out this faction for me. Men at arms with longbows, they look good and they're just to me a basic straight archer unit. Like the last unit here, we have the men-at-arms, but they do fire arrows, so pretty much just different arrow type. 
These are all just going to be a step above the peasant archers you normally have for Bretonia. And by the way, at the very end of the video, that's when you're actually going to see these arrows hitting targets. I'm just going to show the firing animations during the showcase. Now we have the men at arms with pox arrows. And if you use the mods that she has, you're actually going to prefer the fire arrows more because there's a mod that adds 15% more fire damage. And I do recommend using that uh, to enemy units. So enemy units will take more fire damage. But again, though, another great unit. Banners de Aquantain, Royal men at arms. I probably pronounced that wrong still, um, but again, I love this unit. I love these units here that have the special names, and she really did custom coloring on them. Oh man, they look really good. I just I like the coloring combos, I like the contrast. Gosh, these look really great in combat too. Behomans, Braves. Royal Men at Arms, Mace Infantry. Mace and Shields. Oh man, that's that just that's where it's at. Uh, great. The red and yellow here looks really, really good. Um, just overall very exceptional this unit. I like the little details on them, like the texturing. She did a great job on these. I really like this unit because it gives you a cheaper cavalry option that's still, I mean, it kind of makes sense. I mean, anybody can ride a horse and do, you know, I mean, cavalry combat's not just like, you have to be of a certain lineage, like, come on. Uh, so this real Royal Mounted Yeoman, I like this, um, just like them in combat. They're a cheap unit, and to me, they do pretty good work. Now we have the Royal Mounted Yeoman Archers, and that's something that this this faction needs. So having a more mobile uh, missile cavalry unit, that, that really makes sense to me, and it really fleshes out Bretonia even more. This mod is exceptionally well-rounded for Bretonia. All these contrasting colors, let me get to these guys, and it's just like purple, <laughs> you know. Uh, so overall, I mean, they look good. Um, I, I kind of wish there was maybe, like, maybe if their shields are black instead of purple. I don't know. I, I just, there's a lot of purple here. <laughs> um, but overall, they look great. You know, they look really excellent. Probably not my favorite looking ones here. And then one unit over, I'm going to betray everything I just talked about. The Gray Mountain Guards, Royal Men at Arms. Man, these guys look really good in gray. Um, everything hanging on them, just that little color, you know, like it really stands out. And their shields look awesome. And in combat, when they get blood on them, oh man. This unit here, probably one of my favorite units in the mod. We're now at the Royal Men at Arms, Pole Arms, Halberd Infantry. So here they're dedicated to the pole arm, the two-handed. And again, I really like this. Um, overall, this mod does an exceptional well job of rounding out. And also for Tier 2 units, there's a lot of Tier 2 units in this mod. So it's very focused on the middle area for Bretonia. The Royal Men at Arms Skirmishers. I know these two sorted units. I, I mean, I like a very offensive focused unit because back to adding diversity, you know, you have units that hold, you have units that are more for de dealing damage, for flanking. And I just like that you have a lot more variety in this mod. Bertoni is a really straightforward faction without it. Disciples of Manan, Royal Men at Arms, Spear Infantry, another really good looking spear unit here. Um, obviously the coloring, you can see the blue is kind of pale, the yellow is kind of pale. She does a great job designing these colors on these and making them go together. 
Um, just fantastic work. And she has a lot of other mods that kind of add more immersion. Another unit of the Royal Men at Arms that I really, really liked, the Pegasus Guard. The Halberd Infantry, I like the black and I like the really bright yellow. I mean, she's just really good at having uh, exceptionally good contrasting colors on these. These guys stand out fantastic. They look good in combat. Um, they look good when blood gets on them. Big fan. And followed up by another one of my favorites here, the Giserix Wardens. I'm pronouncing, the, I know those wrong. Royal Men at Arms with Halberds. Big fan of this unit. Um, I like the bill hook looking halberds. I, I just I like the halberds on this mod period. They just look really good. Um, stats are good on this, and it just adds more variety for the units. This unit here is apparently pretty popular with this mod from a lot of people. The Grail Pilgrims with great weapons. I'm not a huge fan of these, but I could see how they would be very useful in battle and being more thematic with Bertonia. I could very well see them fitting in. I really know I need to quit pointing out units I like, but man, I really like these guys too. Uh, it was really hard not to like so many units in this mod. Headsmen of Brion, Royal Men at Arms. I think I pronounced that one right too. Uh, I just love the gray. I love the white. I love their axes too. This is just a really great looking unit. I think I'm becoming just not a blunt weapon kind of guy anymore, and I used to be. Uh, the Royal Men at Arms with Hammers. Uh, Hammer Infantry here, Tier 2. I'm just not a big fan of this unit. I mean, they look alright. I just feel like the weapon, maybe it's just the weapon. I don't feel like I would be using this unit in combat. I would be selecting other options every time. But when you look at this one, which is the Banners de Leons, Royal Men at Arms, and you have a little bit better different coloring and they have actual even though they're hammer imagery they have maces i really really like this unit because there's just a little bit more detail so this one i could see myself running um, just because i like its aesthetics foot knights of the realm great sword infantry Man, I am a huge fan of this unit. I like that there's just so much variety here. Different color ones, different color knights, different looks, different armor. And just, this this is awesome. Like, this right here would be something I would want in every one of my armies to run around with. Melobade's Bane Peasant Bowman. This is a regiment of renowned infant, uh, missile infantry unit here. And again, I mean, pretty much they're like fire arrow based unit. They have a range of 160. I mean, they're all right. I mean, if you wanted just some more flair with your bow units, I think there's other better bow infantry units out there, though. Boar Hunters of Aratos, Royal Men at Arms, missile infantry. Obviously, here it's regiment of renowned unit. And I've got to say, I really like the look of these guys. Uh, that kind of copperish uh, look to it with the white stands out exceptionally well. I like that their secondary weapon's a mace. Um, just everything on them looks good. For a more untrained army, the crossbow would make perfect sense. Royal Men at Arms crossbow. That was the whole idea behind the crossbow is that it would be something that people could more easily use. You know, and a bow took, you know, some experience and practice and skill whereas a crossbow didn't really. So I really like this unit and it makes perfect sense for Bretonia. Oh 
now we're getting into the longbows, you know, uh, the Royal Men at Arms. You see the range goes up a tiny bit, so we're getting to the 170 range. And I really like that uh, you're pretty much having a variety of ranges which you can hit with your archer units. And you're going up higher tier, better stats, better damage. The Whistler's Companions, Mounted Yeomen. Uh, these guys here, I like the purple and yellow, and I like their horses. To be honest, their horses have a good coloring to them. Usually, you know, the horses, plain looking horses, usually I'm not a big fan of, but these look good. Um, in combat, they do pretty alright in my opinion, and they're just more flair. I've got to say, this is probably my favorite unit in this entire mod. The Mounted Squires. These guys on horseback just look awesome. Wielding that, I mean, it reminds me of like Aragon right now with a two-handed sword. Uh, I mean, like these guys look sick. Um, and especially in melee combat and their charge. And their horses look good too, the coloring. They just really stand out. The crazy thing is, you go up to the next one, the Knights of the Realms, with swords, you know, obviously you're taking away their lances from the regular cavalry version, but, I mean, I like the horses, but I'm less of a fan of the actual knights on this, but again, they still look good, and they all stand out, I like that there's a variety of colors here, it looks astonishing to me, but, yeah. Hands down, this is the funniest unit in this mod, and I'm probably going to make a YouTube short of just this mod, this unit only. Uh, field trebuchets, cow projectiles, project projectiles, projectiles, catapults, moo. It's hilarious. It throws real cows, as I'm about to show you, and they do poison damage. So Papa Nurgle, you know, would be happy, you know, that that's happening. Look at that cow, and it has a really wide range too. I think that's the other crazy thing. It hits everything. I played Three Kingdoms quite a bit, so I like anything that does fire damage, but we have the Field Trebuchets with Flame Projectiles, and if you use her Flame mod that adds fire damage to enemy units increased by 15%, then I think it very, works very well and I think it's worth it. We have the Blades of Godron, Royal Men at Arms with the Great Swords. I like the swords on these guys. Like the look of these guys, the uh, orange and blue there. Overall, big fan. I like this unit. I like two-handed swords though, so I'm, it's kind of a big weakness for me as two-handed weapons in general. But yeah, they look good, good stats. They're tier three. I will say these foot grill knights, keep them in your back line. Um, don't don't be like me trying to shoot this video and just throwing them at a unit. Like uh, wait till enemy units clash in a melee, then mix them in with your units, send them forward. That's where they're going to shine. Uh, do not let them get bogged down by numbers. But yeah, overall their stats are really good. They're just a small unit. And honestly, I like this version more, the Foot Grill Knights with great weapons, because who doesn't want to see a knight just wielding a big hammer? You know, uh, obviously they're giving Carl Franz a run for his money uh, on hammers, but again, uh, this this is a great unit, and I like the coloring, and I like the weapons on these, I'll be, to be honest. We're now at Roderick's Huntsman Royal Men at Arms Missile Infantry. And probably out of the Missile Infantry, this is probably one of the best looking ones. Just because it's darker blue with lighter blue. 
they look good um, and they're uh, the tier three uh, in a missile infantry unit here so yeah they're gonna have good stats and do good damage across the board Our last unit in the mod, which I hope it is part of the mod, I was pretty sure. The Chapel de Asson Blessed Field Trebuchet. So this is the uh, Regiment Renown version of the Blessed Trebuchet. But yeah, overall high missile strength damage, high range. I like the Catapult a lot more. Um, I would be using the Catapult and the Fire one the most. As always, the mod will be down in the description to go check out, as well as some other links. If you wouldn't mind, please like, subscribe, share, comment. I really appreciate it, guys. It goes a long ways. And thank you for watching this entire video. You're awesome. Uh, I'll catch everyone next time in the next mod spotlight. Thank you.